in food heaven or food hell. Everybody here has made their minds up. Food heaven, if it wouldn't be obvious enough, would be this fast selection of lovely those. prawns. Madagascan prawns, beautiful prawns over <laughs> here. Um, they could be done with a little samphire, cooked in vodka with some cream. Alternatively, you've got the dreaded chicory there, which could be braised. Fennel, I know you hate as well. Nice little salad, which is what these two wanted, and they stuck by the guns. It's also what Erica over there wanted, which levelled our playing field. Right. Three apiece. That's what happens now. You've got to thank Janice because it's food heaven. Got it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> thank you, Janice. She's stuck thank by her you. guns. Okay. So anyway, what we're going to do, we'll lose that one out of the way, guys, and you're going to do me uh, some little petals. We're going to yeah. braise these off. So first off, I'm going to get these prawns. I'll turn that heat right up. So these are Madagascan prawns. Now, you can tell the prawns size-wise by numbers. And what they do is they're number ones, number twos, number fives, whatever, and the number relates to the size. Right. So these will be number fives, which means about five per pound or per kilo. Oh, OK. Um, That's size. how they work it out. So the, yeah. yeah, they're always by numbers. So when you're buying them generally in a restaurant, you would say, I want you know, a box of number five. Yeah, tiger prawns, that kind of stuff. But these are the huge, massive ones here. There we go. A little bit of oil in here, if you can do. Then a small bottle. That's it. Drizzle of that in there, please, Chef. Thank you very much. Lovely. We'll just cook these prawns. I'm not going to thoroughly cook them through at this stage. Just start them through. I'm not going to leave the heads on for these ones. I'm glad you're leaving the heads on because it always, I think, always tastes better when you cook the shells a bit. You know. I definitely think. Well, the sauce I'm actually going to make out of the shells as well. Oh, nice. Very similar to your sort of favourite, favourite dish, because you do one with uh, tequila, Yeah, I, I cook, yeah, prawns with tequila and chorizo. Yeah. And I just, I've, I dry fry the chorizo to get the oil out of it. Yeah. Take it out, um, marinate the prawns just for a little while in, in chorizo. Yeah. Throw them in um, with a bit of, uh, once they're mostly cooked, a bit of tomato. Then chuck the tequila back on, flambe it so the shells burn a little bit, and that yeah. makes the flavour really good. Throw the chorizo back in. It's it's really good. So it was good to me. Yeah. Good recipe that. Yeah, yeah. Can it be in Kenny's book next time. Done <laughs> <laughs> the restaurant next week. Going to be on the restaurant next week. Yeah. So anyway, we've got the shells there. Now, like we said, we keep the shells. So for this, I'm just going to colour these, and you see the lovely prawns, how they do change colour nicely. Now these, of course, are a frozen prawn, but we're just going to take these out. Have you got the shallots and the garlic there, guys? Yep, ready. Thank you very much. Straight in that pan. I'm so glad it wasn't food hell as well because the chicken was going to be with orange. The other thing I didn't say is I don't, I'm not mad keen on kind of fruit with, with meat. That was the idea of food hell though, oh. Marcus. Yeah. Yeah. So, put a shallot in there. And then what we're going to do is add the prawns to this, or the, or the, the shells. shells yeah. right? Lots of flavour in here. Yeah. Uh, I had a similar dish to this, but they cook it in ouzo over in um, Crete the other week. Uh -huh. and, um, I thought with vodka it would work very well. And what yeah. they do is stand back, because otherwise that moustache will definitely go up. And wow. you go like yeah. aniseed. <laughs> now, vodka's obviously highly flammable, and what you need to do is we, we put it in and it burns the shells, and that way you get this lovely smoky flavour on this. So the vodka's gone in, and they use this uzu stuff, which is basically like rocket fuel as well. Yeah, yeah. And they sell it in plastic bottles with no labels on it. It just looks like water. <laughs> And then you just get this lovely, you can see it actually starting to crisp up nicely. Bit of fish stock. Tiny bit of fish stock in there. It doesn't take very long to cook this at all. Yeah. Bit of fish stock, some cream. Bring this to the boil. And as soon as it comes to the boil, we'll take the whole lot and place it in a blender. Right, the guys oh, really? there are doing right. our, um, our little petals here. Oops, so, there you go, take the whole lot and pour the whole lot into a blender. That goes in there. Lid on. Take this top out, it's a bit of vacuum whenever you're doing any hot liquid. There you go. Blitz it through. Keep this pan on the heat. That's where you get all the flavour from the shells, even more. Yeah. I would never have thought to have done that to whiz up the shells. That's and then you pass that through there. Oh, that's brilliant. So you get tons of flavour. Yeah. A lot more flavour than you would normally get. And we pop that through. So you get all these. Just gets rid of every bit of flavour you can possibly yeah, get yeah. up here. And it also changes the colour slightly. Mm. Lose that out of the way. Take our prawns, put them back in again. And then we're going to finish these off by poaching them in there. Wow. So these will take a couple of minutes. Yeah. In the meantime, I'll show you what uh, Kenny's been doing over here and the guys. So. 
we've got over here. These are the little uh, sunblush tomatoes because um, just a little idea for I have from abroad. Sunblushed. Yeah. Can you cook the? Um, actually, you put the sun fire on now. Actually. Yeah. Sunblushed tomatoes. Basically, just petals. Uh -huh. uh, so you basically peel them. Yeah. Take the seeds out. I did it. That's enough. Peel them. Take the seeds out and um, slowly cook them in the oven. Mm-hmm. Just slowly, slowly, slowly in the oven. These have gone in 200 degrees. I'll put them in pigeons. You got them? And then we've got some in there and they come yeah. out. Often a lot of people do this, we've got one of those warming drawers. Yeah. Put them in there. And um, you can actually produce your own sun dried tomatoes. A friend of mine told me he um, puts the oven on full, yeah. puts the tomatoes in, Switch it switches it off and then leaves it in overnight. Yeah. Same, same sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly yeah. The same. Yeah. Samphire, sea asparagus, June to. September, oh, that, yeah, possibly yeah, September, yeah. yeah. June, sea asparagus. You get sea purslane now from shops, which is wonderful. But this is samphire. Don't buy it pickled if you can get away with it. Yeah, it's got to be fresh. Like I love this, this stuff. It's tiny um, bit of seasoning, just salt, because it is quite a little bit of salt with it. Obviously, it's got the marsh samphire as well. There you go. We'll just saute that off. Right. You want the sherbet chopped? Or you just want uh, a little. No, I'll actually leave that as it is. Actually. actually. Yeah. So there, your prawns. You just cook these nicely. I'll turn those over. Now, because these are big, they do take quite a while to cook. Yeah. But you see how the colour's changed? Mm. Now, if I didn't pass that sauce or didn't blend it, you wouldn't get that sort of pinky coloured yeah, sauce yeah. to go with it. All right. We've got some dill. Yeah. Now, although this has got like a, it hasn't got much of an aniseed flavour compared with um, fennel, but it's going to go really well with this. And I want you to. Dry the whole lot together. How are we doing, Chefy? Yeah, yeah, chef. There you go. You must have some fire on your menu, don't you? Yeah, we have sea spinach as well. Yeah? Yeah, lovely. Sea spinach? Sea spinach. What's sea spinach? It's like a larger version of sea purslane. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right, it's, okay. it's exactly the same way. Because the sea purslane is the little, almost look like leaves like these. Yeah, mm. and the sea spinach is like, stone uh, crop almost as well. comes like sorrel. Absolutely stunning. Stone crop, stone crop, yeah. So we've got or aurac, I think it's called as well. We used it before. Mm -hmm. There you go. Is that ready? Just about, yeah. Happy with that? Yeah. So, a little bit of. The old samphire. I love this sort of stuff. It's also good with lamb, this as well, isn't it? Yes. Really? Samphire. It's nice because it, just as the asparagus season finishes, the samphire this is, uh, is uh, this yeah, yeah. 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 Do you have it on your menu then? You yeah, yeah, I'll use yeah. it a lot. Yeah, a little bit of that. But it's Norfolk, it's, is that where it comes from? A lot of it comes from up that way, yeah. Sandy, really nice. Yeah. yeah. Let me get our prawns. Put. Look, Look at them. them. You're a lucky boy. Yeah. <laughs> Small <laughs> prawns. We turn that heat off now. Right, if you can get me a little bit of butter and just finish off that sauce, please, Daniel. That'd be yep. great. So we'll add, finish off that sauce with a bit of butter, a bit of uh, salt and pepper, I think. I'm going to just taste a little bit of it. Put these to one side. Yeah, there you go. Cheers. Finish that off. There you go. So we've got the dill gone in there. Finish off a bit of that. Looking good so far. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Petals just go on the top as well. Just some little tomatoes. Better than just looks good to me, yeah? You get so much flavour out of that. Finish it off with butter at the end. Oh, look at that. Delicious. Bit of that. A few bits of the old. And I'm expected to share this, am I? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's oh, your man. heaven. You can dive in. Dive it right, yourself. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Pass a prawn down there for these guys at the end of it so the girls can have a taste. There you go. Do you want to bring it on the glasses, guys? Mm. Now, to go with this, Susie's chosen uh, Vermentino 2010, available mm. from Tesco's, priced at uh, £6.99. Wow. Lovely, isn't it? Mm. Is that your idea of food mm. heaven? Yes. I'll just I'll cancel the book. There is a god. <laughs> 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 I think it's you. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you reckon of the sauce? Because wow. you've done this before with Teresa. I think mm. I think passing it through. That's delicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I think passing I'll it through a sieve, blending the shells, you get mm. so much more flavour out of it. Mm. Happy with that? Yeah, that's mm. gorgeous. No, that's good to me. Another yeah, yeah. great wine to finish you off. That's basically three great wines, all in one program.
You can have the glass, please, Janice. There you go. Oh, yeah. thank you. And the ball. <laughs> uh, that's all today at Athletic Kitchen. Thanks to Daniel Cheers. Clifford, Kenny Atkinson, and Marcus, Marcus Bridgestock. Uh, cheers to Susie Atkins for the wine choices and today's chef's table guests, Janice and Erica. And remember, all the recipes are cooked in the studio, of course, on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. We're back at the usual time at 10 o'clock, but in the meantime, have a great weekend. Bye for now.